Whether you're just getting started or you're looking to become a working professional, there might be questions that creep up about planning a successful photo shoot. What are some of the things that professionals do? With this video, I wanna talk about some of the key and critical steps involved in planning a fantastic photo shoot, not just to get great results, but to also get better at your craft. With each photo shoot that my team and I put together, it's not really about repeating the exact same steps. It's more about replicating an experience so that we can actually go and execute on our creative vision. For me, there are five critical components that need to happen to execute a fantastic photo shoot experience. And most of them are happening well before you even pick up the camera. The first thing I'm going to do is put together a mood board. Whether you're using Google Slides, Keynote, or PowerPoint, or some app on your phone or iPad, Whatever it may be, I am looking to assemble a ton of imagery that represents the content that we're looking to put together. Now, this isn't about copying someone else's work. It's more about creating a compass for what you're looking to create. So whether it's poses, colors, aesthetic, textures, whatever it may be, think about creatively. In your best circumstance, what would you like to create? And with that in mind, try to go a few steps before that and find images, whether it's Pinterest or Google Images or even Instagram. Find images that you can cut out, put into your software of choice so you have sort of this visual compass to guide you, not just on your production day, but well before that. The next item for a successful photo shoot in my eyes is assembling the right team. Almost like bringing the Avengers together, you are Nick Fury and you're calling upon the greatest crew that you can assemble to make the work easier. Now, when you're just getting started, it might be a couple of people. You know, you might be pulling favors, asking for some people on Instagram to be your model, your assistant, your makeup artist, and you might be trading favors where you're capturing the work and providing them images for them to promote their special areas. But as you grow your business and as you look to get more gigs and work on more commercial productions, having a lot of scrutiny here, it can pay dividends in the future. When you have a team that you can rely on, that you've built reputation with, that you can ensure that they're gonna bring work and work ethic that matches your level, it's gonna make the entire production that much easier. So when you're looking at your photo shoots, really take time and pause and think about who is on set with you. Who is that team that you can count on? And really, who are the people that are gonna pull their weight to make your work easier so that when you are on set, your focus is mainly on creating great photographs, great content, items that you can go back and edit and turn over and really be proud of. You do not want to be sweating all the other details when you're behind the camera. And again, having a great team allows this to become more of a reality. Another item that's going to make a world of a difference when you're trying to plan a great photo shoot is having a fantastic call sheet. A call sheet is simply putting together all the critical details for your photo shoot. And there's no one one way to do it. Everyone's gonna have their own style. What I recommend here is to just pack as much valuable information so that when you communicate this to your team, everyone knows what's about to happen. In my case, I make sure to put in the time, the date, the weather, the nearest hospital, emergency contacts, the entire crew information, their information, their phone numbers, their social handles, the mood board itself, the call times for the day, so what time each person is supposed to be there, as well as a timeline for the day. What's gonna be happening at what hour? How much time have we buffered in to change outfits, to make up, to have a break, to eat some food, to get back to shooting? All this stuff is valuable information for your call sheet. You can take this a step further by including set information, hairstyle information. Of course, look at putting together a shot list. So beyond the mood board, what kind of pictures are you looking to capture? Whether it's a sketch or you're pulling something from a magazine, having all of this information in one relevant, easy to access document it makes a big difference because there is no more guesswork. Everyone that is on set knows what's happening and when everyone's on board and informed, it just makes for a much smoother shoot experience. Your lens choices, don't leave this up to chance and where you can, rent the pieces you need so that you can capture the shot you're going after. 
when you're looking at your mood board, when you're looking at your inspiration, really consider which lenses are gonna bring you closest to that shot. For our production, we went with a 35 prime 1.4, an 85 prime 1.4, and a 28 to 70 f 2.8 lens. These are all E-mount lenses, so they'll work with any Sony camera. And this gives me everything I need to grab a great portrait, to grab a great environmental portrait, where with 35, we can go a little bit wider, get a medium shot, or even get the complete set. And if we go with an 85, we can go into those detail shots while still getting some beautiful uh, fall off from our subject. Now, say we wanna also work a bit more dynamically. This is where zoom can come into play. I'll use the 35 first to get some establishing shots, the 85 to get the details, and then the 28 to 70, switch that on and go beyond the mood board, go beyond the shot list and start having a little bit more fun where we can play with focal ranges and experiment to get a shot that otherwise might be a bit more challenging. So while it might seem a little silly, what I like to say when it comes to preparing your equipment for the next photo shoot, almost think about it like a basketball coach. Think about how the shoot experience is gonna be. Where are the lenses gonna be? How are you gonna swap them out? How are you gonna move between shots? And it is something that I really visualize. What are the shots that I'm gonna capture first? What are the lenses I'm gonna use next? What shots are those gonna be capturing? And then with the time that I have left, looking at what kind of creative and explorative shots can I capture? Again, it might seem a little silly at first, but really try to visualize and think in terms of the perspective of the lens so that when you're going out on production, you know why each tool is there. The last thing on my list for executing a fantastic photo shoot experience is review your strategy on set. It still amazes me how many people will put in all this effort and when they get on set, they don't go to their call sheet, they don't go to their mood board, they don't go to their timeline, they just ignore everything and just almost the nervousness, the anxiousness, the excited anxiousness makes them forget all the hard work they did ahead of time. So when you are on set, make sure you have a laptop or an iPad available so you can review your plan through the day, hour by hour, to see how you're doing and are you getting the shots that you were hoping to capture so you can make those adjustments. This also allows you to plan a little bit ahead and get more creative. When I go in and get the shots that I need, I'll then take a step back and ask my assistant, stylist, makeup artist, what shots do they see? What do they think might be interesting? Maybe even handing them the camera just to go in and give us a little bit more time to be creative beyond our plan. It's not necessarily having a clear cut path for every single item. And again, when you review your plan, when you go back and you're critical of the time that it's being used, it will give you a little bit more liberties when you're looking to be creative as well. So there you have it. Those are my five critical things that I believe are necessary to executing a fantastic photo shoot. But what's more interesting is what suggestions you might have. So if there's something that you believe needs to happen for every single photo shoot, let me know down in the comments below. As always, my name's Gadjin. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.